to identify your target. Then kill them. So, it's been a very long time since I actually touched this game with a 10 foot pole. But, what can I say? I guess after watching many videos from, you know, the past and in the present right now, it's got me thinking that maybe I should go back to the basics where I started. And if you did not know, I did actually start with Assassin's Creed. Technically, I did start with Call of Duty Black Ops, then Grand Theft Auto 4, then Assassin's Creed multiplayer, but uh, I digress. Anyways, thank you all for 680 subscribers because it really means a lot to me and how you guys, you know, keep on supporting me throughout this whole thing with YouTube and whatnot. I know I got stuff I have to do and stuff I have to talk about in, in other games, you know, such as Watch Dogs 2 with the whole thing that's going on in there from the whole ranking system as well as what's going on in Bounty Hunter. And I'm pretty sure you guys are still, you know, expecting that stuff later on as well as a couple of showdown matches. But I decided to give, um, take a break on that because I do have the videos for it and the information for it. I'm just going to put it all together and make a, you know, quick little video over it. But, um, welcome to Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag Multiplayer. Um, Deathmatch in particular. It's been a long time since I touched this game. It really has. The last Assassin's Creed I touched was Revelations, and that was on 360. But I'm definitely not paying another $9.99 to play on Xbox, especially when it's at my cousin's house. And, you know, he's trying to use it for Netflix purposes. That and the other last Assassin's Creed I uh, touched was Unity. And after getting the platinum in that game, getting those trophy, I was like, no, nah, peace, I'm done with that game, because uh, I like the story, I like it, it's just, oh god, the glitches and the bugs in that game, Jesus Christ, it, it was insane, it really was. But, the real reason I guess I, you could say I got back into Assassin's Creed uh, multiplayer was, you know, once again from past videos and from... You know, a certain channel that goes by the name of Dove Voice. Now, if you don't know who Dove Voice is, she is a talented uh, Assassin's Creed player, uh, particularly in Deathmatch. And, you know, after seeing her videos and guest videos, I just decided to just say, what the hell, it's time to get back to see the game, and that's all there is to it. But enough about that, I'll be sure to go ahead and post her information into the link below, as well as into the video. Hopefully you can see it by then. But other than that, Deathmatch or Portobello, not only am I going against the Annoying Prestige who happens to spawn right next to me, but I'm also going against the New Blitz who are still in the process of learning the game, as well as other stuff that's going on. Now, the main reason why I actually like Portobello, the first Deathmatch version of Portobello, is because of, you guessed it, the benches. And if you did not know, the benches give away a x3 multiplier. Yep, I still, app, uh, I still happen to have the uh, knowledge of how to play the game, except for this part right here. That's a full moron moment because I got scared and I was trying to figure out who was coming after me. Now, you never want to go full moron, especially if you're going against a bunch of nooblets, because as my friend Analogous Prune and Nine once told me, noobs are a double-edged sword. They can either help you or hinder you, or they can do both at the same time. It sucks, but it's like, what can you do? Because they're scared, you're scared, and all the other stuff. And speaking of scared, I'm scared of you because you're gonna end up messing me up later on. God damn, no. I'm scared of what she's about to do to me because she just figured out who I was and I can't get the knife done in time. Whereas I'm dead in the process. Now you gotta be real careful of your pursuers because they're always close to you whenever you hear the big ass whispers. The whispers definitely a change from each game, from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood being the lowest of the low to Assassin's Creed 4 as of right now, you know, them being at an all time high. And it's crazy. It really is. And during this deathmatch, you know, once again I have a couple of problems, and yeah, you're not too obvious, aren't you, Siren? That's the one thing you gotta be careful of is the walking patterns of the civilians because if you can point out who your pursuer is, then you can easily get the drop on them or they can probably get an easy kill on you. Now here's another missed opportunity that I actually have right here. While my pursuer actually stunned her opponent, I did go in for a good kill, I don't think. Like, it was a good kill, but I could have gotten a focus bonus on that and gotten some extra points in order to get ahead. But luckily, at this point, I was able to get my pursuer and able to um, stun her. She didn't get into the time phase, per se, but I was still able to trick her and all that good, 
blah, all that kind of stuff. And it's like, I don't know, like, you just gotta try to phase out your opponent some kind of way. And this is another opportunity that I missed out on because the kill range is so goddamn short. I couldn't have got a bench kill right there. A good hidden bench multiplayer right there. But no, they have to run around like chickens with their heads cut off, like crackheads on crack. And that's what you get for running around the halls. Jesus Christ. It's like, seriously, in Deathmatch, you can't just run around and, you know, do all that crazy bullshit because you're gonna end up screwing yourself over now there are times when you may be able to get away with it and still get a high score and still kick everyone else's ass in the game but it's like but for me i prefer to be that slow guy i prefer to be the guy who takes things slow with grain of salt and not try to rush into battle because if i do i end up screwing myself over like that's one of the key aspects that i actually miss about the game trying to be silent but also, you know, being a derp at the same time, you know, tunnel vision and all that stuff because you never know when your opponent's going to come around the corner and end up, you know, choking, slamming you or some bullshit like that. Unlike you, because you're not going to get no kill off me whatsoever, lady. That's the Lady Siren, by the way, I believe that's her name. The Siren? Yeah, that's the Siren. And I'm playing as the Lady Black, if you guys didn't already know. And my target is... Damn it, it's been a long time since I've played the game because I know this character appeared in Assassin's Creed 3. Ah, Jesus Christ, I, I can't remember the life of me. Shut up, your whispers are too loud. And you shut the hell up too, I hate everyone's whispers. Jesus Christ, it's like trying to find a needle in the haystack sometimes because my target's right close to me, right next to me, based on the portrait at the bottom of the right hand bottom of the screen. And it's like, he's close, but I really can't get to them. And there he is, running around like a chicken with his head cut off once again, because it's like, damn, you never know what's going to happen. Now granted, this does work in my favor because he's running around into an area and my pursuer is far away from me. I do have six cents on because it's like, you know, a default setup I build, I built, and all that kind of good stuff. Give me that kill, please. Thank you very much. And that's also another missed opportunity. Not only did he kill a civilian, I could have gotten a hidden with that. And, you know, I slowed him down with time phase, so that could have been a hidden multiplier with focus gave me a big juicy score and once again didn't take advantage of that and i'm dumb as hell shut up now this is also another messed up moment right here this guy has the termin on and if you don't know what the termin is the termin is basically a perk that allows you to keep your score multiplier except you don't get the um additional bonuses with it so for example if someone got in a kill 250 times on me with uh, the Terminon, I was able to, you know, contest that kill. They would still keep the 250, but won't get the additional um, score bonuses with it. And this is also another mess up opportunity of me trying to get a nice little multiplayer kill right there. Not only did I mess up in the process, but I end up getting killed ah, by the lady in red. Damn it, I still end up forgetting everyone's names in this game. It's like I have to review all this stuff over again because it's been that long. Funny enough, I actually did kept on playing uh, some more deathmatch sessions, blah, deathmatch sessions along the way because, you know, I'm actually trying to get the trophies for this game and it's probably going to be hard because a lot of people barely play the game, so there's that. But um, I actually managed to get a 13.2 um, K game on Prison 2 in another deathmatch session I had on uh, about a couple of days later. It's like, it, it's still fun, it really is, the game is, it's like, but it wasn't that competitive. There was a couple of noobs in there, and, uh, you know, uh, to add insult to injury, there was two prestiges in there, but they barely knew how to play the game, like, fresh out of the bag prestiges, prestige level one, if I'm not mistaken, and it was like, where's the challenge? I could have at least gotten away with it if there was a couple more prestiges in there, but it's like, a level 33 something, you know, it's like, Taking advantage of a new blobby? Nah, I don't, just don't sit right with it. This is like, blood. Also, don't run in the halls, please. Because that's how you end up dead. Seriously, get taunted at the end. But, um, I guess that's all for this video. Because it's been a long time since I've played Assassin's Creed. And with a new one coming out soon, it's like, I'm ready for it. Multiplayer or no multiplayer, I'm still going to play it. That and I still have to play Syndicate. But um, other than that, you guys have a nice day, love you all in peace, P.S. Go check out Dove's channel, she's extremely talented, like check it out, write meow, peace.